Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November 7th of 2021. Well, it is titled the Cat's Eye Nebula in Optical and X-Ray. So what do we see here? Well, this is an example of what we call a planetary nebula, which happens to have nothing to do with planets, but perhaps may have resembled a planetary system forming a long ago through smaller telescopes. What we now know is that these are what happens at the end of the life of a star like our own sun. So when the sun reaches the end of its life, the core contracts forming a white dwarf, which would be the object at the very center here. And the outer layers get expelled out into space, forming the nebula that we see. So those are actually the outer layers of the star being expanded out into space. Now, the interesting thing is that we really don't understand exactly how the planetary nebulae work. We see various different ones and they don't all look the same. There are some different patterns here. It looks like the material has been expelled off in a set of uh, different at uh, a different time. So not all at once so that you have different regions that were expelled off at different times. And it's not quite completely symmetrical, meaning that we may have had uh, perhaps other uh, star involved. Perhaps there was a second star involved. If this was a binary system, you might get some unusual patterns forming as these uh, layers are pushed out at different times during the orbits. So the stars would be in slightly different positions each time. And therefore, we would get slightly off centered orbit uh, of expelled shells each time. So as we continue to study more and more planetary nebula, we get a better idea of what is going on and better understanding of these. But the exact details of how this works is quite, uh, quite something we are still trying to understand. And again, this is what will eventually happen to our sun. So some six or so billion years from now, uh, some astronomer in another uh, another star looking back towards our sun may see a nebula something like this as the outer layers of our sun expand out into space, leaving behind the compact remnant of a white dwarf star at its center. So a little bit of a preview of what we have to look forward to in about five to six billion years when our own sun reaches the end of its life. So that was our picture of the day for November 7th of 2021. It was titled the Cat's Eye Nebula in Optical and X-Ray. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be a sun jumper. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.